What's going on guys? It's Tony with Things That Don't Suck and today I'm bringing you a MOAB gameplay to Mother of All Bombs on the map Seatown. Um, if you don't know what Mother of All Bombs is, it's just a 24 kill streak with uh, guns only, so 24 gun streak. I cut the beginning of the video out just because uh, I was doing well, I was 22 and 6 I believe, but um, it just took a little while before I got going. Um, I'm gonna get a kill here real quick and end up dying trying to use this shotgun, but as soon as this death is over, this is where the run begins. Uh, so basically, the class I'm using is the MP7 with the dual attachments uh, being rapid fire and silencer. And my perk setup is the marathon, quick draw, and dead silence perks. I'm using the specialist care package, so. I get perks for my kill streaks instead of actual kill streaks, air support, and whatnot. Uh, I pick up this heartbeat monitor and I end up just getting rid of it. It's not a very good gun. I hate baby monitors. But um, I really, really like using that MP7 class. It's been working out really well for me. If you haven't seen my other video, my free for all video, I use this weapon setup for the first time and really, really enjoy it. Um, I'm going to be just weaving in and out of this general area of their spawn for most of the uh, run. And once I get the uh, marksman, I, or the stalker, excuse me, yeah, the game starts lagging. I joined the game a little late, and so I wasn't host, and we were having some connection issues for a little bit of the game. It's another main reason why I took the uh, beginning of the video off. But once that got fixed, we, the host migrated to someone else, and I was able to pull off better gameplay. Um, so yeah, basically once you get the your 8th kill, you will get the full specialist package, and that's every perk. So you can keep using your primary gun, because you're going to have scavenger, you can run around really quick with marathon, and lightweight, and, or quick draw, excuse me, and hit fire people with steady aim. Uh, like I said before, this gun really has awesome hip fire. I love using the hip fire on it. Uh, right here I almost get killed. I think he got killed but he actually didn't. I turn around and managed to pick him off. For a little while this game actually goes exactly how I want it to because uh, we were gonna be dominating them and the game was gonna end before I got this streak done but uh, my teammates end up doing a little bit worse and I allow the other team to pick up all the flags so that I can get these skills done. Um, so I move around here for a little while, trying just to stay where I'm assuming they'll spawn. Once they really don't, I move my way back over to the other side, where over by C, where they start spawning. I try to move around as much as possible. I don't really like standing still because it really gets boring after a while, and it's just not the style of gameplay I like to have. Right here, I hear this guy coming up. I got really lucky. I think he was right behind me trying to knife me, and I jumped on a ladder. Uh, I never had set red before, so I was a little confused as to what that red thing was, but luckily I come in here and hit fire both those guys. Um, I basically will be running around this map, like I said, just trying to get kills, trying to stay alive, and trying not to stay in two, one place for too long. Uh, the people were leaving the game at this point, so I stood in that corner just waiting for more people to connect. Uh, once they do, I protect my teammate here while he gets A. And I'm getting a nice kill right there. Um, I think I run back up this ladder, pick up a couple more kills. No, I don't actually go downstairs. Okay. Uh, I think that's a guy, but it ends up not being a guy. This is the part I was talking about. I know C is about to be captured, but I don't want to keep it. So I try my best to let him take it and then kill him. Uh, walk away, and that way they'll spawn in this area as well. Uh, I try to keep an eye on my mini-map, and I try to be where my teammates aren't. Oh, by the way, at the rest of this game, I am EMP'd, so I end up getting this mother of all bomb with no mini-map, no nothing, ironically enough, when I mention the mini-map. But um, you do want to keep an eye on your mini-map when you have it, and just try to be as far away from your teammates as possible, because if your teammates are there, that means that the enemies aren't there. Um... Other than that, here I pick up the two for one, getting the mother of all bombs, and actually can't call yet because the EMP is still up for 30 seconds. So I run around and then I'm getting a few more kills. I keep trying to use the 
Uh, mother of all bombs, or they won't let me. Uh, the EMP lasts for a very long time, so it's definitely really useful. I haven't used it yet, but uh, after this frustrating game where I can't almost call it in, I will definitely try to pick it up. So here I call in the mother of all bombs. Uh, I get this kill really quickly. It takes nine seconds to hit the ground, but I'm pretty sure if it's if your time is running out, it'll still work the same way Modern Warfare 2 did. Uh, obviously, in this game, you and your teammates don't die, so I get to do a nice, happy celebration dance. And the rest of the game is just going to involve me running around until I eventually get throwing knifed. Um, let me know if there's any class setups you guys want me to try. I'm always willing to experiment and here my teammate gets the game winning kill cam and I go 53 and 7 so uh, if you like this video please click that like button it helps us out a lot and make sure to check out our site at things that don't suck that info thanks guys see ya